today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to defend and counter the one-two. Okay, so what we're going to talk about today is, is defending and countering the one-two with two parries. Okay, learning how to parry the jab and the right hand. So what, I, what I'm doing here is I'm going to be throwing a jab, so I'm going to just show you right here without the mitts for a minute. If I'm, if I'm fighting Danny and I throw the one-two, he's going to throw, he's going to parry the jab with his right hand. He's going to parry the right hand with his left hand. So parry the jab with the right hand, parry the right hand with the left hand. Okay? So when I throw the jab, he's, that's it. See what he's doing? He's deflecting my jab. He's giving a little deflect. Okay? If I come back with the right hand, he's going to do the same thing with the right hand. So I'm throwing the jab, throwing the right hand. He's able to deflect them both. With two pairs, parry the right, that's it. Parry the jab with the right hand, parry the, the right hand with, with the left hand, okay? He's parrying the jab with the right hand, he's parrying the right hand with the left hand. And from right there, you see the position he's got me in? There, there, now I'm right there to be hit with a left hook. Even though he's taking that hand on the, that side of his face, he's got, he's got his hips, turning counterclockwise. So when you're doing those parries, the first parry, your, your hips are turning clockwise. Now he's going to turn counterclockwise. Now he sets himself up to turn back clockwise and throw that left hook. That's it. So it's parry, parry, left hook. Yep. Parry, parry, left hook. Good. Parry, parry, left hook. Beautiful. Parry, parry, left hook. Very good. Parry, Perry, left hook. Humberto Soto, if you want to watch some of his fights, he was very, very good at this. So was the great Julio Cesar Chavez as well. I'll show you guys on the mitts how you can work on that. He's going to parry my jab, parry the jab, parry the right hand, throw the left hook. Parry the jab, parry the right hand. That's it. Jab. That's it. So if I throw it faster, he's... Shit. Good. 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 Beautiful. And as you notice, what he's doing is he's deflecting. He's deflecting. So a lot of people talk about, you know, when you get rid of two punches, or you get rid of a punch, a guy can beat you to the next punch. In other words, like sometimes that's why parries are so effective because I could throw, I, he, could, he could slip my jab, slip my right hand, and then come back with the hook, but I might be able to beat him to the hook. But that little bit of parry where he deflects my right hand gives me more time to come back with that hook. And that's the science of these parries. He parries, he parries. See, he's deflecting me over there a bit more. So if I was trying to come back with a hook at the same time, he's going to beat me to it. Okay? Again, one more time like that. Boom. He's parrying me. If I'm trying to come back with a hook, he's going to beat me to it. Okay? Because of the parry. If he slips a jab, slips a right hand, I might be able to come back and get him with the hook because I was able to recoil with my right hand and throw my hook before he caught me with the hook. But the parries... That's why everything is timing and insight when you're throwing. Not, to, not that you can't slip a one-two and come back with a hook, but when you parry, it gives you a little bit more extra time. Okay, so he's throwing a jab, right hand, back with a hook. One, two, hook. One, two, hook. Good. One, two, hook. There you go. One, two, That's it. He's parrying a one, two. He's coming back with a hook. Parry one, two. Come back with a hook. Parry the one, two. Good. Good. So that's just a great way to be able to defend and counter the one-two. Uh, make sure you guys uh, follow me on Instagram for a lot of other boxing-related information that I put out. And uh, like, share, and subscribe. Comment below. Leave you guys questions. And uh, I'm going to be, like I said, uh, coming out with some new stuff in 2021, instructional-wise. And uh, so make sure you guys stay tuned. And I'll see you guys next time.